welcome back to Stoic Wisdom, where we explore ancient wisdom for the modern soul. Today we're diving into a topic that touches many hearts, friendship or at times the lack thereof. It's easy to think that a lack of friends is a sign that a person is very flawed or unlikable. But is that really the case? Let's explore this through the lens of Stoicism. In the words of Seneca, one of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. However, life circumstances don't always allow for such connections to flourish. It's important to remember, especially in our modern, fast-paced world, that the number of friends is not an indicator of one's character or worth. The Stoics teach us to focus on what is within our control, our efforts, our virtues, our character. These are the true measurements of our worth. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, All that is in accord with you is in accord with me, O world. Nothing which occurs at the proper time for you comes too soon or too late for me. This perspective encourages us to see the absence of friends not as a personal failure, but as a part of the natural ebb and flow of life. Perhaps you found yourself with fewer friends due to changes in your life. It's a common thread in the fabric of human experience, yet it can leave us feeling isolated, questioning our worth or likability. But let's pause and reflect on this through the stoic perspective. Changes in life are inevitable, whether it's moving to a new city, transitioning to a different career, or evolving interests and beliefs, these shifts can naturally affect our social circles. It's important to recognize that these changes are not merely obstacles, but opportunities for growth and self-discovery. When we move to a new city, we're faced with the daunting task of building a new community from scratch, it's a test of our resilience and openness to new experiences. Similarly, a career change can shift our daily routines and interactions, often distancing us from colleagues who were once part of our everyday lives. And as we grow, our interests and beliefs may evolve, leading us to seek out different company, people who resonate more deeply with our current selves. This isn't a reflection of failure on our part or a sign that we are unworthy of friendship. Quite the contrary. It's a sign that you're living authentically, honoring your personal journey. Embracing these changes requires courage and self-compassion. Remember, every person you meet, every friend that comes into or leaves your life is a part of your journey, contributing to your growth and understanding of the world. Moreover, a period of solitude can be a profound opportunity for growth. While society often champions constant connectivity and the hustle of social life, Stoicism invites us to find value in stillness and solitude. Let's explore why this time alone can be one of the most enriching phases of your life. In the quiet of solitude, we are presented with a unique opportunity to turn inward, to engage in an honest dialogue with ourselves. It's in these moments of reflection that we can truly listen to our own thoughts, away from the noise and influence of the crowd. Marcus Aurelius once mused, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This introspection allows us to examine our beliefs, question our values, and confront our fears. Solitude also offers us the chance to cultivate self-reliance, a core tenet of Stoicism, Dependence on others for our happiness and sense of worth can lead to disappointment and a loss of self. By embracing solitude, we learn to find joy and contentment within ourselves. We discover our own passions, set personal goals, and take responsibility for our own fulfillment. Furthermore, periods of solitude can spark creativity and innovation. When we step back from the constant buzz of social interaction, we give our minds the space to wander, to dream and to create. Many of the world's greatest thinkers, writers and artists have attributed their most profound work to moments of isolation. So, if you find yourself with a lack of friends, see it not as a sign that you are very flawed, but as an invitation to introspection and personal development. It's easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism when we confront solitude, especially in an era where social connections seem just a click away. Yet, Stoicism offers us a powerful counter-narrative to this modern dilemma. 
the Stoic philosophers such as Epictetus taught that our perceptions shape our reality. If we perceive a lack of friends as a reflection of our own inadequacies, we allow external circumstances to dictate our self-worth. Instead, we should view this phase of our lives as a stoic test, a test of our ability to find contentment and value within ourselves, independent of external validations. Consider this moment as a garden of possibility, in the quiet of fewer social obligations, you have the fertile ground to cultivate the virtues that Stoicism holds dear, wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. Each of these virtues requires space and solitude to grow. Wisdom emerges from reflection and learning, courage from facing our fears alone, justice from understanding our place in the wider community and how we can contribute to it, and temperance from managing our desires and impulses. Embrace this time to strengthen your relationship with yourself. Like a good friend, get to know your virtues, your flaws, your passions and your fears. This self-knowledge is invaluable. It not only makes you a better individual, but also prepares you to be a better friend when the right people come into your life. Because in truth, friendship, like all meaningful relationships, is rooted in mutual respect and understanding, qualities that flourish in the soil of self-awareness and self-respect. Moreover, a period of solitude can be a profound opportunity for growth. While society often champions constant connectivity and the hustle of social life, Stoicism invites us to find value in stillness and solitude. Let's explore why this time alone can be one of the most enriching phases of your life. In the quiet of solitude, we are presented with a unique opportunity to turn inward, to engage in an honest dialogue with ourselves. It's in these moments of reflection that we can truly listen to our own thoughts away from the noise and influence of the crowd. Marcus Aurelius once mused, nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This introspection allows us to examine our beliefs, question our values and confront our fears. Solitude also offers us the chance to cultivate self-reliance, a core tenet of Stoicism. Dependence on others for our happiness and sense of worth can lead to disappointment and a loss of self. By embracing solitude, we learn to find joy and contentment within ourselves. We discover our own passions, set personal goals and take responsibility for our own fulfillment. Furthermore, periods of solitude can spark creativity and innovation, when we step back from the constant buzz of social interaction, we give our minds the space to wander, to dream, and to create. Many of the world's greatest thinkers, writers and artists have attributed their most profound work to moments of isolation.